Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Boone coming at you guys with a brand new video. Uh, today I want to take a little break just from all the Supreme. I'm always talking about Supreme and hype brands, all that good stuff. I know you guys seem to enjoy it a lot. That's like where I get most of my views from and that's why I make so many videos about Supreme. Some of you may not know, I actually love vintage like so much. I literally started just getting into clothes and stuff with vintage clothing. I started at the thrift shops way back in the day, hitting the thrifts up, trying to find some crazy old Nautica, old Polo, old Tommy. So I started off at the thrift stores I just worked my way up like constantly reselling stuff I got until I was able to break into the supreme and hype market but um, so we're gonna be talking about some of my favorite personal vintage items I own I do like to show off stuff for my personal collection however I don't do it as much anymore if you guys enjoy content about vintage clothing and stuff just drop a like um, leave a comment letting me know honestly I do want to make whatever videos you guys want to see so if you want to see more videos like this or just me talking about vintage in general um, just let me know in the comments I'd appreciate that but let's just jump into this video I got some awesome stuff to show you guys I doubt you've seen a lot of this stuff let me know at the end of the video your favorite item I showed off in this because there is a huge array of items I have that's one dope thing about vintage is there's so just much brand so much stuff pop culture um, that you can buy we're gonna start off with my vintage hat collection these aren't all my vintage hats and this is definitely not all the vintage stuff I have in my own collection it's just the coolest stuff I wanted to highlight in this video so first off we got the little Mickey Mouse New Orleans um, colorway one of my favorite things about this hat is just the crazy amount of Mickey branding all over it um, you got the M on the front with the Mickey standing in front of it, Mickey on the side, and a Mickey on the back with a Mickey spell out. The way Mickey Mouse is standing in the pictures of him really reminds me of this old Supreme Mickey piece that was a collab piece from forever ago. Super dope. I love like any hype brand doing stuff with Mickey Mouse because it just reminds me of my childhood. And it's also kind of cool to see Mickey Mouse in some kind of like fashion style like that. This hat's super dope. I love it. I just bought it for the colors. Um, next we got my Tom and Jerry hat. This thing goes super insane yet again. Um, kind of like an off-white cream on the top. We got my boys both fit up in the Ray-Bans you know how we come in those ain't those supreme busted ass brick glasses they some Ray-Bans for show on the back of the Tom and Jerry spell out um, super clean graphic nothing too crazy with this hat I got this one at the thrift for like five bucks I think the other one I got online for like 12 13 dollars um, super sick hat I love Tom and Jerry again just like a nice classic vintage piece next up this one goes super hard this is probably my favorite vintage hat I have I've had so many offers over the years for this one uh, Game Boy Color hat not a lot to talk about with this one but Game Boy Color obviously just like such a nostalgic thing. Um, I used to play my Game Boy so much back in the day. I love the little color hints on the color spell out on this. You use a lot of these colors for outfits and stuff. I wish there was some spell out on the back or something on the buckle. Unfortunately there's not. Maybe I could do a custom Nintendo spell out on the back. I don't know. Cool hat though. I love the hats. Let's move on into the jackets now. I do believe I made a jacket collection video before. Some of those jackets in that video are in this one as well. Some new jackets I picked up. I'm always getting the new heat. Come on. This first piece we have is just an absolute vintage grail um, the leather wool guest club spell out on the back jacket this thing is just I don't even know what to say about it. Um, the embroidery is just absolutely off one. This thing is gorgeous. On the back, you have this long little scripture. I'm not even gonna read that. Um, this just insane crest looking type logo established in 1981. Um, then if you take it to the front, we got the huge guest patch, which looks like some like carpet material or something. I don't know. We got guests all over this thing though. We have it like down the buttons. We have it on the back. We have it on the front. We got it wherever you want. Wherever shoddy at, she's gonna see the guest logo on this piece. Such an insane one. I love that the arms are leather and the rest is wool. Obviously, I cannot wear this because it's sunny outside and I would absolutely die if I tried to put this on, but classic jacket. I have this one for sale if you guys want to buy it on Seattle Select, but um, honestly, I'm probably going to hold on to it because like I said, the season's not too right for it right now. Next up, we have the Polo Sport. Just absolute grail, folks. Like, oh my Jesus. I will never find another one of these jackets in this condition. No cracking whatsoever on the arm sleeve spell out. Um, I used to have a red, white, and blue version of this as well. It went just as insane. Um, I do prefer the yellow and blue. However, that red, white, and blue was disgusting. It was trash. These are hard to find in great condition like this. Um, and this one I got for like 150 back on Grailed like a couple years ago. I know that's a ton of money, but honestly, I've worn it a ton. I love the jacket. I don't think I'll ever find one in this good a condition again. Again, I've gotten so many offers for it. I'm not going to sell it though, I don't think ever. Such a dope piece. I just pray that Supreme someday rips off the Pole Sport logo because I love this logo. Instead of Ralph Lauren, they could put like New York, established in New York, world famous. I don't know. 
know it would just look so sick i think and i wish they did more stuff kind of collaborating with vintage brands not like exactly collaborating but just bootlegging just kind of ripping off some vintage stuff because i love seeing vintage and supreme incorporated into one piece a good example of that's the mc escher collab which came out like two seasons ago i want to say i will be showing some mc escher up next we got one more crazy banger jacket though to show off to you guys this color block vintage tommy with the huge tommy flag on the sleeve one thing i love about tommy hilfiger jackets is they'll put little branding all over it in very small ways so you can see the buttons even the little pull tabs the inside of the collar on the back on the sleeve like i already have probably showed this thing is just insane caked the hell up with tommy logos tommy just went in on this one um, i love the yellow hint that's definitely my favorite color on this jacket i love yellow um it's just got the tiniest hint of it as well as some navy we got the nice dark green a little bright red um i love this jacket so much i probably will sell it one day i got this one off instagram for 50 dollars. you know me steel god come on you guys if you haven't learned by now i just know how to get the deals i find them i seek them out i don't know what i'm doing with my hands but let's move to the next pieces the mc escher pieces i got are just unreal like i said supreme mc escher collab one of my favorites they've done recently just because of the incorporation of vintage and supreme these are straight vintage mc escher though and they obviously did it way better than supreme did supreme did their best to try to catch up i do have to give them credit for that however uh you just cannot compete with this folks like the vintage just does it the best i love the nice fade on the black vintage fades are one of my favorite parts of vintage pieces i love that natural fade that occurs over time you don't see that on the white one this white one is like dead stock bro like the shit on this like the graphics are just unreal on another level um perfect boldness like they haven't faded in any way i wouldn't even care if it faded because i like the fade as i just said no i like to get faded <laughs> uh, but actually though the back of this thing's next level um just both sides of this white one are unreal the black one's dope as hell that's the one i've had forever i traded for that like a year or two ago um but this white one just sheesh bro this thing is on another level super insane i love just all over it every side of it has some kind of design some old mc escher visual distortion craziness um <laughs> super dope piece mc escher is an awesome artist i've always wanted to find some vintage picture he's done that i could frame in my room somewhere uh, but that's all the mc escher pieces i've had let's move on now so i do have some other t-shirts i want to show to you guys as well uh the vintage guest tees i guess is a good place to start the blue on white whew, this shit that oh my god bro vertical stripes with guests is so hard to find i don't know why but i actually love the vertical more than the horizontal let me know what you guys prefer um i just think guests go so crazy hard like i love the vintage stripes they've done they somewhat brought back the stripe wave themselves because their guest stripe tees go for so much money now um i gotta say this vertical one's my favorite however this paint stroke one's just on another level um i've showed this one off before crazy crazy rare um stripe combination to find you don't really find these paint stroke ones often at all especially in the long sleeve form you got some gorgeous wine colors some nice uh dark greens we also have a khaki hint and white on it i just love this one i love all these vintage guest pieces the white and gray is for sale the other two no way in hell are you going to get these from me maybe eventually on the long sleeve but this vertical one's going to be staying with me for a while i'm always getting guest stripes i've had so many different vintage guest stripe tees in my life and it's awesome because you can just buy them forever and still find new ones you've never seen before there's so many stripe variations that exist so i have two more t-shirts left first off we got the Kurt Cobain just absolute banger oh my gosh this might be my favorite vintage t-shirt i own folks i don't even like to wear this one that much it doesn't fit me crazy well i like myself a little oversized and it's pretty snug however it is a beautiful shirt it's got the smallest amount of cracking but it almost looks good with the small amount of cracking it has um the nirvana spell out on the front we got my boy just going in on the acoustic guitar this is definitely from one of his live concerts i wish i knew which concert it was from if you somehow know that please let me know in the comments on the back we got the whole gang just kicking it if you guys didn't know which some of you may not know i'm a humongous nirvana fan even bigger kurt cobain fan that's my boy kurt cobain's probably like my favorite celebrity just like personal figure ever um so big shout out to my boy kurt the back and front on this are just unreal on another level never seen this anywhere else from 1999 such a sick t-shirt shout out to my boy kurt one time so you know me i gotta come through with the heat to end it off with the tees and we got this speed racer um from 92 just oh my gosh bro every single one of these shirts even though i own them and i've seen them a billion times still when I just lay them out and look through the graphics on them I still just like get so hyped um, this speed racer one is not my size it is for sale so DM me on see how it's like if you want it um, but oh baby it is so beautiful imagine this on a supreme tee it should would sell out in a second um, supreme should do a speed racer collab that'd be crazy speed racer is a Japanese comic I believe I absolutely love this shirt the colors on it um, the speed racer illustrations look amazing those cars look dope I like how the cars are all just skirting off 
top all around the shirt. Flossing with the no flaws. There ain't nothing wrong with this shit. I do dislike the cracking on graphics. This one's got none of that bullshit. So let's move on to the crew necks now. I only got one crew neck to show you guys, but it's all I need. Um, we got the vintage Tommy for your mommy. Shout out my boy Cantu. Um, this is actually a very special Tommy Hilfiger piece. I'm sure some of you know, some of you don't know. I'm going to teach y'all that don't know though. Um, ASAP Rocky wore this in a concert live and I don't know why, but that picture just blew up. Pretty much every Tommy fan wants this one. It's just like a Tommy Grail piece. Shout out to that dude. These are crazy hard to find nowadays. I don't even know why they're worth so much money. It probably looks like a very casual, normal Tommy Hilfiger design to you guys. Um, the cream colorway is absolutely gorgeous. When I first got this thing, it was absolutely messed up. You already know I cleaned it up real nice. Um, I put it out in the sun with some lemon juice and it actually fixed a lot of the little bleach stains on it I had to get rid of. I do have to wash it one more time to get the color back, but man, this thing is beautiful. Um, I don't really wear it too often, but I'm definitely gonna be rocking it a lot more once it gets colder outside. It sucks because a lot of these are jackets and stuff I came and rock anymore but I still just love to look at them and just knowing that I have these vintage grails is such a crazy feeling so the very last shirt I have to show you guys is vintage bootleg um, guest t-shirt I'm sure a lot of you are wondering what bootleg is or what that means so it's technically not a fake shirt I mean well actually you can say it is a fake shirt it was not made by guests however somebody made this design up themselves and put it on a long sleeve um, basically the difference between bootleg and faking something is a bootleg is making your own design based off another brand um, there's tons of Tommy bootlegs, tons of polo, Nautica, guest bootlegs. There's bootlegs of tons of brands, Nike. Faking, on the other hand, is purposefully copying a piece from one of those brands and then trying to just make it look like it is a real piece when it's not. So this was a design made by somebody and it is a crazy, crazy design. It's got the gold shining guest letters. We also have a nice little guest logo triangle um, beneath the spell out all over the Sonics colorway long sleeve. This thing is beautiful. I love striped shirts. I had to get this. A subscriber sold this to me for like 40 50 bucks big shout out to him so it is bootleg it was not made by guests but it was made by somebody who i guess was a fan of guests wanted to make their own piece this is what they came up with i love it i don't think i'll ever sell this one great piece to end the video with so i hope you all enjoyed this if you want more content talking about vintage let me know in the comment section also let me know what your favorite item i showed in this video was uh it's been your boy boone i'll see you guys tomorrow i'm really really trying my best to upload every day this week no excuses so i hope you all enjoyed this one um, i'll see you in tomorrow's video I'm out. Peace.